Hi folks, this is Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the Shore Track 5x8 Homeowner Series Dump. It's a 5,000 pound GVW rated trailer. It's going to weigh in at about 1,550 empty, giving a net legal payload of about 3,500 pounds plus tongue weight, taking your total net up closer to 4,000 or 2 tons. We're going to take a walk around the trailer, show you the standard features. Everything here is now standard. Uh, this is an updated model, that's why we're taking the updated video. So one of the reasons this trailer is rated at 5,000, even though it's got 5,200 pound axle, is the coupler. It's a two inch ball coupler rated at 5,000, and therefore derating the whole trailer to 5,000 as well. It's got a zinc jack. It's got a sealed wire harness. You also notice they've got a plug guard. So one of the things you'll see up front, this is a triple tube tongue. Many in the industry are gonna be just a standard A-frame. So you get the extra tube down the center. Short track also takes the time to cap the end of the tube tongue, which we like. Keeps your acid, rain, and salt out of there. They've got a lockable toolbox, power up, and power down hydraulics. They've got a front-mounted toolbox to store your hydraulics and battery. So they use a KTI power up, power down pump, powered by a 12-volt deep cycle marine battery. It's a high capacity group 24, 140 amp hours. <clears throat> so short track on this particular unit uses a four inch tube tongue and a four inch tube mainframe. We prefer the tube frame that they use as opposed to channel, just resist your torsional load. Notice they put a nice gusset plate where the tongue and the mainframe and the bulkhead all come together. Gives extra rigidity. They use a three inch hydraulic cylinder. Short track, we really like their attention to detail and craftsmanship. You'll notice all the wiring's grommeted, sealed, ran in frame. Very clean with their uh, craftsmanship and finish quality. It is a power up, power down hydraulic. Also notice they're using the new bullet LED lights. They use a radial tire standard. It's got the new forward adjusting brakes and it's got the easy loop hubs. It is a six on five and a half lug. It's got a 12 inch brake assembly. They use the Jeep style tread plate fenders. Standard equipment would be a spare tire mount. And then they also prep the trailer for a tarp. So the tarp trail does come standard. You also notice stake pockets are standard equipment to do a sidewall extension. We also like the integrated keyway that they do on the dump. Gives it a whole lot stronger side than what we traditionally see without adding a ton of additional weight. Trailer comes standard with five D rings. They've got the four corners and then front and center. Another feature we like on Shore Track, some trailers we see just stitch weld uh, along the side. They're going to do a full seam weld all around the perimeter of the trailer. Nice attention to detail. <clears throat> I'll show you the back gate in a second. We'll put it down, but they now come standard with a barn door gate, not a one piece gate. Again, it is a three inch hoist, power up, power down. Short <laughs> track also takes the time to silicone between the joints. So you got an upright there and then you'll see they silicone between them. Same thing with the tarp shroud. So they put a, a greaser and a bushing on your mainframe. Also notice the mainframe's capped at the back so you can't smash your tube. Uh, one detail there we see powder coated tough. Probably the single biggest detail or sell point to this trailer for me would be how Shore Track stores their steel and preps their steel. Of course every manufacturer can't get to the plant. Uh, our, our team has been there several times. These guys do a great job with storage of their steel. Many manufacturers leave it outside. They store theirs inside. Uh, the only place they have any steel is inside because their equipment, they have an overhead crane, unloads the trucks inside their facility. Uh, this is much different than we see at many plants. After the finished product is welded and assembled, they blast with steel grit, not sand grit. Also different than a lot we see in the industry. Then they phosphate wash, which is pretty typical. Then they zinc chromate, which is not typical. In fact, it's fairly rare. These guys finishes the best of the different brands that we carry and certainly the different brands that we've offered. So again, in reference to finish quality, powder coat, steel prep, etc., these guys are our top in those areas. Okay, so what is different at the back here is the barn door gate. 
it used to be a single piece gate and then where you see the hinges were basically four pins you could pull the gate off chuck it to the side this is a little bit more user friendly simply rotate that up pull your handle <clears throat> and then your gate will come back to the side these chains here would be simply to latch the trailer back to the side when you're dumping another detail we like notice those doors come the whole way back not out to a 90 degree we've seen different uh, customers in the past come in for service and whatnot they tweak the gate door because they leave it out at a 90 like so and then when they put it up they realize they're on a pile of stone tweak the gate door up and they've got a little bit of a little bit of a mess so again having the doors go all the way back against the bed sides is pretty critical again I want to show you this integrated sidewall one more time very strong doesn't add weight you'll notice that that is formed in not welded on uh, the few manufacturers that we see doing this process because it is an involved process generally welded on just because it's easier so again they do a formed integrated body stiffener into the side this is greg at best choice trailers any questions give us a ring 717-220-4220 or visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com thanks for looking